Hello, I'm Claudia Kay and welcome back to my channel. So today I got mail. I got mail. So I've got four boxes sitting over here. I've opened them, but I've not um, unwrapped most of the things inside. I just, I just opened them is what I did. So i um, going to show you what I got. Tell you about some of my favorite sellers because some of these are my favorite sellers and um yeah so that's what we're doing today i was i'm in the middle of um packing and invoicing from previous sales and the neighbor dogs went nuts so i knew the mailman was here okay so this first box is from daniel at tacky is me i love daniel i love his sales his sense of humor is just, he just always makes me smile and lifts my mood and he's just fun. And so I ordered this and Daniel just started using this stuff for wrapping because it's supposed to be better for the environment than um, bubble wrap. Everything arrived safely. I had paper in the top that I already took out and then I took that out. But I got this for my daughter isn't that great? It's a, it's a carved stone pineapple. And if you saw my antique store haul, then you know I found this tiny one. <laughs> so I'm probably going to hold these back um, until June. She doesn't, she'll pop into my live sales, but she doesn't have time to watch my haul videos unless I tell her to. So she probably won't see this and won't know that she's getting these. Now, if she does see them and she wants them early, she'll get them early. But otherwise, I'll be holding those back for her birthday in June. I love that. One tiny one. one this is a, it's a heavy, pretty heavy uh, pineapple. So, excited about the stone pineapple. That was in Daniel's box. This channel is Tacky Is Me. If you haven't subscribed, which I don't know how you haven't because he's so awesome. Okay, so this one, which was wrapped in a black poly mailer, came from Black Dog Vintage and Antiques, and that is Nikki. Her channel is Black Dog Vintage and Antiques, and both her and Daniel Takis me have Instagram accounts, if you are on Instagram. So this is for my niece. Her birthday is at the end of the week microwave cookbook for vegetarians she loves my she's fascinated by microwave cookbooks and uh she's not a true vegetarian she does eat some meat but i think she is going to love this so i purchased this for her for her birthday along with a bunch of other things that are scattered around the apartment that i have to find before it's her actual birthday oh let me set that down Okay, and then I bought something for me. And let me tell you, everything, this was cushioned in here so well inside, inside this nest. And then the um, book fit perfectly on top, so nothing shifted during, um, during shipping, because we, we always want everything to arrive safely. I don't do the plastic wrap thing that a lot of people do. So, um, tell me in the comments below, do you prefer when your items are wrapped with plastic wrap? Or um, do you think it's just an extra step that's unnecessary? Because I don't know one way or the other. Like I don't have an opinion about it. It's just something I have not, I have not done. So, um, whoop, cut, 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 cut. The tape residue on my stickers so they or on my, on my scissors making them sticky so they don't want to cut things. I've also experimented with different bubble wraps um, to make sure that I'm using the best brand of bubble wrap and I've had one thing break and that was just last week and it was the great big it's a swan like these 
the neck snapped and oh, so disappointing. I don't know how it happened because I had wrapped it so, like I wrapped the neck and then I cushioned it to make sure that it was all one size, you know, fill the voids before you ship. And so, I don't know, it didn't survive shipping. I was very disappointed about that. But this, oh my goodness, I love it. It's a barometer. Very mid-century modern. And I don't know if I'm gonna set it in here or if I'm gonna set it in my living room. I love it. Oh, I, I absolutely love it. Oh, it makes me so happy. All right, well for now, it's gonna go right there. Oh, I love it, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Try not to be too rustly. All right, next package is from my friend Barbie. Look at the heart. Oh my goodness. So Barbie's uh, channel is punk, punk, funk, and junk Barbie. She also has an Instagram. She put a little note in here. It says the joy you give to others is the joy that comes back to you. And <laughs> she put in two pink flamingo stickers. I love pink flamingos. My dining room is decorated in them. And I actually have one of the bookcases that I used in there to display my uranium collection had been in my daughter's bedroom when she was a teenager. So she had taped a bunch of pictures to it. And when she took the pictures off, then the the tape had torn off the finish. It was just an inexpensive bookcase. So I stuck stickers, pink flamingo stickers all the way down. So these will be going on, right onto my bookcase. I'm so excited about that. So she said, Claudia, thank you so much for your purchase. I found something you may enjoy for yourself or for resale, love Barbie. She sent me a present. <gasps> I got a present, you guys. And I save all of my cards that some re resellers don't, some do. Um, put a little notes in them, but I save them all. If you send me something, I save it. Okay, so the item that I purchased, this is for my niece. Also, um, and look at the pretty ribbon. It's pink with silver, I will. I will be reusing that too. So somebody's future package will have this pretty pink ribbon on it. You'll also get the box with the heart because I recycle my boxes unless they um, unless they are not if they've lost their integrity, then I do not reuse them. So the box still has to be in really good shape. I am not gonna send out a box that's been mushed too many times by going through the uh, postal service or UPS because they can both be very difficult on boxes. So I learned something yesterday. For the second time since I've, and I've been selling since August of last year. So for the second time, I got dinged by UPS for not measuring the packages properly. And this may be something that all of you already knew and you'll be like, oh, you're so stupid, why didn't you know that? But I really, I didn't, I didn't know. So when a box, say like a six by six box, six by six by six box, so, which I think Daniel's box was. Yeah, so when it says, six by six by six on the bottom. Those are not the measurements of the box when you're sending it out. Those, um, that's the interior measurement of the box. So UPS um, wants you to measure the outside of the box and generally it's gonna be like six and five eighths or six and a quarter inches long. And according to UPS, you have to round that up to seven inches and put that measurement in when you are shipping. So that is why I got dinged twice 
from UPS. It's a clutch and these were dyed to match. Um, boy, she did that carefully. So it kept it. These were dyed to match your bridesmaid's dress or your prom dress. You could also um, get the shoes to dyed to match also. So that's for my niece. She has a purse collection. And so I thought she would get a kick out of that having been dyed. <laughs> it's just fun. Fun, fun, fun. So let's see what Barbie sent me. So it also has a bow. Super excited. So the one package that I got dinged for was actually that 20 inch swung base that I sent. And in, on this one, I had measured, I measured the box because it was an odd shaped box, obviously for a 20 inch um, swung base, it's gonna be an odd shaped box. So um, it was long and it was, it was thin because I didn't want, I didn't want it to rattle around in the box. So long and thin and I measured it at six inches. That was an actual measurement, but UPS is saying, and, and I took it in and had them double check because I was worried that I hadn't, um, that I hadn't weighed and measured it properly. So I literally took it in, stood in line and had them check to make sure that I did it right and got dinged anyway. And they're trying to say it was seven inches, not six inches. And um, so that they're dinging me for like $7.53 because they said that's how much more it would have been in shipping if I had put in the correct measurements. And I'm like, oh, oh no, I'm disputing it, but I don't know if I'll win or not. But that's frustrating because on that particular package, I know that I had um, measured it. So, oh my goodness, look at that. It's a coffee cup with a swan. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Because if you can't tell, I collect swans. And I have a Wednesday morning coffee chat and sale every Wednesday morning on my channel. Barbie packages really well. Oh, I'm trying to break it before you can get it out of the packaging. Oh my goodness, I love, love, love it. I, oh, I love it. You will be seeing me drinking coffee out of this on an upcoming Wednesday morning sale. It's fantastic. Thank you, Barbie. I'll have to get a hold of her after this and thank her. I'm so excited about that. The ribbon, my cats take off with if I don't hide it. Right now they're both locked out of this room because they were messing with the ribbon that I had sitting over there because I was I was packing things. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I love it. Okay, so my last box of the day is from Angela, VOA Quest 1910. She is a newer reseller and um, she will be doing a sale with me on um, Thursday the, what day is Thursday? The 24th, Thursday the 24th at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. <gasps> so this box they ordered from me. She did a super, super fun sale 
and um, I got several items for me. So, oh, there's, oh, there's the, it's like, where's the release? Add that to my small collection. And she packaged really well too. So let's see what else, because I don't even remember. I don't remember what I got. There's a little sparkle and shine note in there. And then she sent a vintage recipe. And then it says, Claudia, thank you for purchasing, but also a huge thank you for inviting me to be on your channel. As you were the first to do so, even if I happen to appear on others first, it means a lot, Angela. I'm so excited to do a sale with her. Her and Jazdia. Okay. Says Claudia, your earrings and rings are wrapped in a leafy tissue paper. Unwrap carefully. So I bought a little lot of jewelry that had this bracelet, which not my style, I won't go over my hands, but it has this copper bracelet, which is my style. And it's a ring holder beaded basket, which that will probably be either up for resale or a giveaway in a future sale. Sorry about the rustling, but I'm unwrapping carefully, like she said. So here is the reason that I bought that lot for that ring. Ah, it's so my style. So this little, and I remember these little beaded rings. This little one came in there too. It is way, way too small for my fingers, but that was in the lot. But this is why I bought the lot, this ring. Oh, super excited about that. And then I bought this pair of clip-on earrings just because they were so fun. So you'll definitely see me wearing these in a future sale. They look like chandeliers. <laughs> So I got those, and then lastly, I got this tiara. Which is very, very flat now. So tiaras, and I didn't know this until recently are meant to, if you don't have hair that you can put a bobby pin in and clip it, you can tie ribbons or some people use um, pipe cleaners and then you can tie it in. Oh, this is pretty. My hair is purple, but. So that, it, oh, I made the right choice too. Oh, that is pretty. So that is everything that I got from Angela. She is VOA Quest 1910. And um, I will try to link um, I will try to link people in the description below. I have problems doing that. Like I will try. I'll try my best. So everybody packed really well. Everything arrived safely. Super excited about my gift from Barbie. Oh my goodness. I love it. 
I have, I have pink flamingo mugs, but this is my first swan mug. So, um, yeah, that's everything. That's, I, I'm very pleased with everything that I got. And if you want to meet Angela, you can check out my sale on the 24th, 24th, 6 p.m., my um, YouTube live sale on Thursday evenings. And um, yeah, so remember, be kind. It doesn't, and it's my shirt too. Be kind. It doesn't cost you anything and it may mean everything to someone else. And while you're being kind to everyone else, remember, be kind to yourself. Because sometimes the worst is that negative voice in our head telling us we're not doing enough and we're not good enough and all the other nasty things it says to us. They're not true. You are enough. You're doing your best. And I think you're fantastic. So you guys have a great day.